Cheers everybody, welcome back to another episode of My Pathetic Life as a Homeowner. As always, it's always maintenance versus progress. And uh, in this video, it's gonna be a quick video that piggybacks actually off of another video of me draining my pool for the first time. And uh, if you wanna see that video, I'll put it in the link over here somewhere around the screen. But uh, I wanted to touch on a topic that seems to be the first thing that everybody kind of goes to or fears when they want to drain their pool. And that is the fear that your pool will pop up like this or like this. Anyways, it is a real fear. Um, uh, this is, let me just back up a little bit here. This is my first time doing this. I'm no fucking pro at it. I'm just a cheap, pathetic homeowner that tries to save a penny here and there. And uh, sometimes I have to take some risks and at the same time, I learn a little bit. So this is an educational video at best. Um, but anyways, let's get into it. So why does your pool pop up? So the easiest way to describe it is picture your pool as a giant boat, okay? Now this boat is filled with water. And when a boat is filled with water, it sinks. So when it's filled with water, this boat is sink, sunk, sunken to the bottom of the ground, right? Now, when you start taking the water out, there's a potential that your boat might float. And why would it float? So for example, if, if you're taking water out like this and um, your outside water line or water level or after some heavy rain potentially, there could be a lot of water outside of your pool on the other side of the wall, right? So if you decide to take the water out of your pool after some heavy rains or your water tables super low or sorry super high you have the potential of ripping out your pool making it pop out making it float um, most pools will have a relief valve slash cap to uh, prevent this from happening so since my pool's empty right now, I thought it'd be a good idea to explain where this is and how this works so that you don't have this fear of making your pool pop up. So long story short, most pools, I'm going to say most pools, and again, I'm not a fucking expert in this, um, but I've kind of did a little bit of fucking educational studies on the internet of things to kind of come up with uh, where I'm at right now. So anyways, as you can see, I have no water in my pool, which is great. That means my water table is basically sitting literally in my drain right now. All right, here's the deal. Bottom drain. Hold on, let me take a swig here. Cheers. Uh, bottom drain. You will likely have, so the, the regular pool Plumbing goes that way, What does whatever. Oh my God, my beer's spilling. Whatever. Okay. Um, the regular plumbing goes that way. Then at the very bottom, you'll see I have a hole right there. And in my pool, I had this plug originally. This plug was at the very bottom. This plug is a big fucking no-no. And uh, the reason why this is a no-no is because if you have this plug in there, yeah, it's gonna relieve uh, the water on the outside, but you have to take it out first. So for example, when I was draining this pool, I have no idea where my outside water table is. It could be up here, right? I have no idea. It could be down here, it could be no nowhere, which it is, right? The problem though is if you don't take this plug out, I mean, I took mine out when, the water table when the water in the pool was the roughly this high so like i had like two feet or so and then i finally took it out mind you this thing was a bitch to take out like an insane bitch like if you look at the threads i don't know if you're gonna be able to see but they're like so caked with um surface that they were basically welded so it was a huge struggle to take this off uh so keep that in mind but anyways, you don't know where it is. So if you have this plug in here, you're basically taking a gamble that you're saying, hey, I'm pretty sure when I, by the time I take it out, I know my water level, my water table outside of the pool should be lower. Big gamble. Anyways, onto this. This is a pressure, what, how do I call it? Hold on. Hydrostatic relief valve, okay? 
hydrostatic relief valve. Uh, in dumb world terms, it's just a check valve. Uh, it allows a fluid to go one way and it doesn't allow the fluid to go the other way. So what does that mean? Okay, so basically you're seeing it work right here. The way this works is it sits at the bottom of the pool and if the head pressure from the pool, it's keeping it closed, right? And on the other side, this is where the bottom of your pool is and the outside of the pool and the very outside. And if the pressure on the outside of the pool is higher than the inside, it pops open and allows the water from below the pool to kind of go into the pool and neutralize itself. All right. This is what you want to see at the bottom of your pool. That is what you don't really want to see at the bottom of the pool. But if you do see it, try to be cautious to take it out as high as possible with the, when you're draining your pool, right? If you don't see either of these, either of these things, um, there's a chance that you have some sort of um, bilge system or bilge pipe where you can shove a sump pump and pump out the water from outside of your pool. So that's the other option. But again, I'm no fucking expert. Likely you'll have one or the other. This pool 17, no, 20 years old now. So 20 year old pool had this plug and I hate this plug. And that's why I'm replacing it with this for future, for future potential draining things, which I actually have to drain this pool again because the surface is all fucked up and that's another story. But important, before you dump your pool water out, I would say throw on your fucking scuba gear, or take a swim with some weights or something and check to see what you have underneath that cover because that'll be able to tell what kind of stress you might be going through. Um, taking that out was a huge pain in the ass. I'd be impressed. I mean, I'm speaking from my own pool, but I'd be impressed if somebody can do it with the water in. Um, so keep that in mind. Anyways, that is that. I'm on my way to fill this fucking pool back up. And again, if you want to see the full video of me dealing with this shit show, um, the link is going to be somewhere in the description or in the video itself. Anyways, cheers to everybody. Have yourself a fucking beer. Hope you enjoyed this video and educated yourself a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's entertainment. Cheers.